up where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. Let's take off, we're all ready to roll. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Wake up, Gorga, it's time to play. Come on, Captain Bula, let's welcome the day. Where's that cedar? Ready to go. Wizzy and Wig are good to glow. Speakers bubbling, turning blue. Mortals making something new. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See your round balls and mission control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See your round balls and mission control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Another beautiful day on Zula, and with no intergalactic emergencies on the horizon, it looks like the Zula Patrol has a well-deserved day off. <laughs> hey, why don't I ever get a day off? Just because no one can see me doesn't mean I don't deserve a life, a ball game, maybe a movie. Mom says I need a haircut. Morning, Molto. <clears throat> wow, what a sunrise! Up and at him, Zula Patrol. Bula, it's too early in the day for sunshine. I say we all hike to the top of Mount Zula. Great idea! I'll go fire up the Zula ship and zoom us right up there! Bing, bang, boom! Uh, Cedar, uh. hiking means that we walk up the mountain, not fly. But Bula, Mount Zula is 27 Zyklon straight up! Yeah, we have to use the ship! That or a simple machine! What's a simple machine? A simple machine! It's a tool that makes work easier. The path going up Mount Zula is a perfect example of a simple machine. It makes walking up the mountain easier. It is also called an inclined plane. I thought a plane had wings and a tail. <laughs> I don't think Molto means that kind of plane. Let's check the Moltopedia. Right, Zeta. An inclined plane is just the flat surface that's higher at one end. Kind of like flattened steps. It makes moving things up or down a lot easier. Zeta, try moving that hot dog cart up to Gorga. Ah, it's too hard, Molto. Now, Zeta, try using the inclined plane. Now you're talking that's so much easier. <laughs> See? That's the beauty of simple machines. They make work easier. <laughs> You're right, Gorga. They can make way easier, too. Yeah! Great! Then how about we take that inclined plane straight to the top of Mount Zula? We brought plenty of water and space food sticks along. <laughs> Get you to the top! You're on. After you pick up your wrapper and put it in the trash can. Remember, littering hurts the environment, the home we share with all the plants and animals. Got it. <clears throat> well, no point racing. We're at the top. That inclined plane worked, Molto. I'm barely breathing hard. That's a simple machine for you. It makes work easier. Oh, what a view. Look! There's Zula headquarters, right in front of Goofo Rock. Should have flown. 
I've heard of an extra large drink, but this is ridiculous. How are we going to get that cup off of our spaceship? I know. I'll tie a rope to the cup, hook it to the spaceship, and fly the thing up into space. Brilliant. Except for one teeny tiny problem. The ship is under the cup. Oh, yeah. There's that. I got it. We'll cut a door in the paper cup with our laser device, which is in the ship. Okay, so we don't have any fancy, complicated machines. But what about one of Moto's simple machines? I don't see how an inclined plane is going to help us here. Oh, there's more than just one kind of simple machine. Hmm. Hmm. Including one that just might help us. The lever. What's that? Let's check the Multopedia. A lever. It's a bar that balances on a turning point. This turning point is called the fulcrum. Like this teeter-totter, for example. Wizzy and Wig, hop on! <laughs> as long as Wizzy and Wig are the same weight, there's no problem. But what if Wig were a Wigasaurus? Yeah, I would weigh a lot more. Not so easy. However, Wizzy, if you move the fulcrum closer to Wig, you can lift him even when he is much heavier. So, a lever lets a little weight on one end lift a lot of weight on the other. You got it. But where are we going to get a lever big enough to move that cup? Those litter bugs have supplied us with almost everything we need to make a perfect lever, including that big straw. Great idea, Bula. Now all we need is a fulcrum. I'm a natural born fulcrum. My mother was a fulcrum on my grandfather's side. Let's do it. Now we walk up this inclined plane and throw our weight on it. Follow me, everyone. Mother of Pearl, it's not quite enough weight. Gorga! <laughs> We're still not heavy enough. I know! We need to move the fulcrum. No problem! I can do that! Thanks to our simple machine, the lever! I'm going after those litter bugs! Someone's got to stop them. Look out, Cedar! That creature thinks Cedar's ship is just playing a very big game of tug of war. For a simple machine. Let's get that straw into position. Cedar, we're going to flip the cup up and pull the creature off the ship. We need more weight. Roger that. Time to get down. Good job. Hop in, you guys. Let's all go catch some litter bugs. Kids. Your mom and I told you this is a road trip. We're always there. That's the fun of it. Oh, hang on. We're going. Cool. Zula Patrol. It's the Zlorg family on vacation. Attention, Zlorgs. Had to interrupt your family trip, but this is the Zula Patrol. You threw trash all over Zula, breaking Galactic Civil Code 294 generally making a big mess of the place. Oh, bite your tongue. We teach our children to put trash in its proper place. Gosh, there must be some mistake. We're not litter bugs. Then how do you explain the giant trash covering our spaceship? I don't know. I follow the sign. Sign? Bottomless trash can, and it's positioned directly over Zula Patrol headquarters. But... Who'd want to dump trash on us? I'll give you one guess. 
And his name rhymes with Flark Mooder. Dark Schroeder! Uh, hey, Dad. Have you seen Gloopy? I think he's missing. Did you say Gloopy? He's our slime pet. We brought him along. He loves to ride in the spaceship. Kids, your pal Gloopy is back at Zula headquarters. He was in that cup you threw out. Yeah! playing trash can again! This time, it's over the Zula Academy! We'll meet you back at headquarters, once we've handled Truder. No, no! They always ruin my wonderfully awful plans! Shouldn't we be in the recycle bin? How do you slogs like your double insect burgers? Um, we ate in the ship. <laughs> oh, kids, they grow up so quickly. And up, and up! Hey, Gloopy, how you doing, boy? <laughs> that sight warms my heart. Actually, that sight warms my heart and eats. More. I'm making Donald Tudor pick up litter. I'll get that Zula Patrol yet. You want to pickle with that? And so the Zula Patrol saves the day once again. You know, I I had a slime pet when I was a boy. Oh, gosh, I'm tearing up a little bit. All right, everyone, it's time for our Molto moment. Simple machines are found all around us. Now, what do simple machines do for us? That's right. Simple machines make work easier. Like this inclined plane, it's just a flat surface that's higher at one end. Kind of like flat that. It makes moving things up and down a lot easier. Or a lever, used here to make a teeter-totter, which helps lift heavy weights with less effort. Simple machines, they're simply amazing. Toodles!